and welcome to default Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to debug your PHP code by using Xdebug. Okay, so first you have to download a DLL file for that. Based on your PHP version or configuration, you have to download it. To get the PHP version and uh, PHP configuration from Drupal website, you can get it from status report or uh, when you install ramp or ZAMP, when it hit the local host, here too you can get it by clicking the PHP info here or from Drupal site, you can get it from PHP, uh, PHP more info link. So you can get it in two ways. And next, what you have to do, you have to go to the xdebug slash wizard URL. And here you have to copy all the configuration and you have to paste it here. And analysis your info file, info output. So once the uh, analysis is done, it will show you the instruction to download it in your machine. So you have to follow all the instruction, whatever mentioned here. First, you have to download this xdebug DLL file. This, I already installed it in my local, so I'm not going to install it now. Next, what you have to do, you have to move the downloader file to this particular folder, okay? So let's do that. Vamp, vamp bin and php, php to 4.2.6. And next, it's a ext folder, you have to paste it here. But before you pasting the file inside this ext folder, you have to make sure you don't have this folder in your instant. Okay, the zend underscore ext, okay. So this zend underscore ext will contain the same xdebug dll file. Some, uh, when you install vamp, it might be come with default, okay. Uh, for me, it came with vamp installation itself, okay. I'm, I'm not going to copy paste this manually since it's already exists in my instance. If you don't have this e dll file, you have to copy and paste it in this folder by renaming it to the php xdebug.dll okay next what you have to do you have to go to the apache php ini file okay so next bin apache apache two point bin and here you have to go to your php ini file for apache so when you have send underscore ext folder by default configuration will be existing by default here Whenever you are editing this file, you have to make sure that you don't have this uh, xdebug configuration already, okay? And also you have to make sure this configuration should be present after your op catchy, okay? Op catch. So that configuration should be present after this op catch, okay? So I added it at the end. So this is the configuration which is already there. And one more thing you have to note Understand is that when you configured xdebug in your instance, so you are giving value for some uh, some variables, right? Log or mode or output directory, everything, right? To make sure this configuration is updated or not, you have to do the testing by using, by clicking on this xdebug info, okay? So here you can see what are the changes we made in that INI file all will be present here. So when you check more in this file, so you can see it is, uh, its value is developed as we defined here, okay? So log level, so log level is uh, seven and the log file location also what you've configured here, okay? So whatever configuration you are providing, whether this configuration is affected or not, you can debug by this way, okay? So next, what do, you, what do you have to do? To do the step debugging, you have to do some changes in the existing configuration. So mode should be debug, not demode, develop, okay? And this is the configuration you have to give. And IDE, I created IDE here. So let me tell you what IDE is. I have enabled an extension called uh, xdebug helper chrome extension, okay, extension, xdebug helper, 
you have to enable this. I already enabled it. Once you enable, when you click on the extension icon, it will list all the extension. If you want to pin, you can pin it. I already pinned, so the icon is coming here. After that, you have to click on this uh, three uh, dots. And here, you have to configure the ID key for your editor. So here, I am using other. So when you use PHP, Storm, or Eclipse, you can give the a specific ID. Here, I am using a Visual Studio Code, so I gave other option here. And the value was VS code and save. So that is the value I configured here. And next, you have to uh, enable the remote enable and auto start. And also you have to give one more uh, value that is request, uh, start with request yes, okay. So I will add all this in the description. And yeah, that's it, okay. This is the DLL path, X, X debug, debug, DLL path. So when you give in the EXT folder, this will be EXT. And uh, since we renamed it, this will not be there. So it will be like this in your case. So next, what do you have to do? Once you configure the INI file, you have to go to the back and restart all the services. Once you restart it, you go to your xdebug info and reload. Let's check only one uh, configuration that is mode. So here you can see that is debug. As we configured, this is uh, updated. So once this is done, what you have to do? You have to go to the extension in your VS code and click on PHP debug. So that will uh, that is the extension we are going to install to. So this is the extension we are going to install now. Click on install. So now it is installed. In so once it is installed, next what you have to do, you have to go to the folder structure. Here I open your um, our full Drupal folder, which is split stage. So this is a split stage instance. I open the complete folder. I open the complete folder there. Here next, what you have to do, you have to click on the run and add configuration. And here you have to click the PHP. So this will add a VS code launch.json file in your uh, folder, in your working directory. Next, what you have to do, once the, you don't need to touch anything here. So next, uh, you have to click on the run and debug. Before that, I will uh, show you index.php file. So let me showcase here dollar a i'm going to just uh, create simple uh, configuration okay just i'm adding two variable and printing it okay next what you have to do you have to add a breakpoints let's click on this uh, run and debug and here you need to add the breakpoints Wherever you want, you can add here. So once you add it, uh, next what you have to do, you have to select listen for XDBug and click on the play button. So this page will be executing when the Chrome loads that particular page, okay? Go to your Chrome and uh, load index.php. So when you load it, it will uh, call this file and this file you can get the debugging option. What are the variables we have that time? So this is a this is a play by this is a continue button and this is step over and this is a step into and this is step out and this is restart and this is stop. Okay, and here you have a breakpoints. We have added breakpoints for uh, index.php four places, and this I added when I um, uh, worked before. So, and that's it. So you can uh, identify the value for A, B, C, whatever we are getting, we can get it, okay? And uh, I will show you in uh, one more file. 
this is a plain PHP, right? Let's see in the custom module, develop SRC. And this is a file and this will be uh, working on this. Let's stop this debugger. And uh, that is drop down page. This page contain a drop down form, dependent drop down form here. I'm going to debug here. So, if you want any custom, you can add. As like how I added that, I'm going to add that here. So, copy pasting all the code. Build form, okay. So, let's enable the the breakpoint for all these lines and also for your any uh, coding you can add wherever you want cat okay and next what you have to do you have to go to the run and debug and listen for x debug play next you have to go to your chrome and refresh here and now you can see step over so it's taking from a uh, index.php after index.php it will take you to the a d value c value and cat value okay so you can see the cat value is assigned to none okay so the here you also have a call call stack you can use it for debugging and uh, this is how you need to debug your drupal instance okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye